Hey guys, uh, Ken Smith, KenSmithFishing.com. Uh, this is my Hummingbird Helix 12, and I get a lot of questions from guys about how did you do that with your graph. So I think a lot of guys don't realize uh, how much a Hummingbird, especially the mapping, and by the way, if you don't know this, and, and they'll all say I don't do it, but if you look at a lot of guys who run other units, you will find a Hummingbird somewhere in their boat because they like to have the mapping off the Hummingbird specifically the Lake Master card. I hope you guys can see that. Let me see if we can see that. There we go. So the Lake Master card. So this is the base map. And by the way, the base map on these units now is so much better. This is Toledo Bend than what it ever has been before. You can see the base map on this particular unit has all the waypoint, excuse me, all the boat lanes all over Toledo Bend. But watch what happens when I put that Mid-South card in there. It's gonna take a second to load. Okay, now here's what is so cool about this particular unit and this particular card. Uh, it may not let me do it in the. Let's see if it'll let me do it. Okay, so it's going to let me do it. So, what you're going to do here is you're going to go menu, menu, hummingbird chart and drop down here to, now by the way, that's the five depth colors, which is the one I like because it's so much easier to see the other depths in there. But you can do a depth highlight. So let's say I want to find where the water is eight to 12 feet deep. So I set it on 10 with the two feet variance on either side. And let's say I want to highlight anything that's under five feet deep so I don't run over it. So what you see is it has now done this. It's now highlighted basically the outside of that 12 foot depth line. But what a lot of guys don't realize is the advantage you can use from this particular card to find offshore stuff. And here's how you do that. It's a real simple thought process once you think about it. But let's say I discovered fish are biting from 26 to 22 feet. Now I set it at 24 feet and I can find that good deep offshore stuff. See if I can find a good one somewhere. So in this case I can find that deep drain and you can even take it to the extreme Say I want to find 26 to 24 feet, and this is how you can find those little main lake humps that are so difficult to find. I'm sure I can find some down here somewhere. Well, you know what? I know where there are some on Rayburn, so let's run to Rayburn. So that's the Needmore area, and I wanted to find that offshore hump that stands out beautifully to me right there. Offshore humps stand out beautifully to me right there. It's a way to so much faster, fi faster, it is a way to find those offshore structure places so much faster than you could find them. I mean, this is just such an amazing tool to me. And another thing that you can use it for, now let's just figure this out right here. Let's say you're on a lake where you need to run the river. Watch what I can do now. So how deep is that river, that river right there? So it's 48 feet deep. If I needed to run that river in my boat, I now have my green path of what's safe to run that river in. It is a tool that guys just don't use enough, in my opinion. Some guys use it a ton, and those are the guys that are really hard to beat offshore. Uh, I'm talking about my hummingbird, so I may as well talk about how I have them mounted. Uh, I've talked about this before, and not to make a big deal out of it, but that is the Bass Boat Technologies dual mounting bracket. You see I have a, a Helix 10 and a Helix 12 mounted. I used the front one, the 10 for my mapping. 
and the 12 in the back for my down imaging. I keep the sonar turned off up here so that it doesn't interfere. Uh, and I'm shooting this one with the HD transducer, which I know now you can actually get that inside the Humminbird. Uh, mine was before that time. Uh, whoops, sorry for going out of frame there on you guys. This is what you get when you're a one-man show. But uh, that is an incredibly, incredibly stable system. Uh, I don't really know the Bass Boat technology guys very well, uh, but I, I think that's a fabulous system. There's some really neat stuff. If you can see those slotted screws in there, if you're in an L boat, the Ranger L boat where the, the front end is tilted, you can actually turn your graphs where they are back facing square with, the, with your sight line in the boat. Oh, oh, hey, that's really good there. Anyway, so that's a neat piece that's built on that I've added to my boat. So uh, it's, it keeps the graphs center of the boat, out of the way for stepping in and out of the boat, and the other things you got to do there, including fishing. So uh, I wanted to mention those while I was thinking about it since I was talking about my hummingbirds. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not sure exactly where my camera cut off. I ran out of battery. But uh, So that's some neat tips on the hummingbird uh, that will help you off the water and on the water both. Uh, hopefully I can clean this footage up where it's usable. And on the back end of this footage, I'm also going to stick a piece in here thanking some of my sponsors that I talk about and some of them I probably don't talk about enough as well. Uh, a couple of other things, let me just point out, as I recall things we've talked about in the past, we've done a couple of hummingbird videos. Actually, some of my oldest video are hummingbird videos. Um, I always keep my chart on heads up. I also, down here at the bottom, have the north indicator. It's just something I like. It's that bit right there. Um, the uh, let's see what else we talk about. So we've already talked about under hummingbird charts or where you can change the uh, the different things. One of the things I will do on occasion on my um, on my sonar is actually I'll go to the sonar page. But a lot of times if I'm in deep water, I will put my upper range at five or ten feet so I get a better view just at the bottom, more of the screen just shooting the bottom. Uh, one thing that I've talked about in the past that I'll talk about here is uh, under the nav settings, the waypoint proximity flags, I always keep those turned on. And that's that bit right there. You saw, if you watch down here on this waypoint, you see all of a sudden it pops up. And again, I've talked about this before. I know that my comf comfortable range for throwing a Carolina rig is between 30 and 40 yards. So, you know, say 90 to 120 feet. So I try to get about 140 feet from my waypoints when I'm throwing to them so I know I'm throwing past them. Uh, that's really handy when you're on the water. Another thing I do have on my boat is the, uh, and I, I apologize, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but it's the Hummingbird or the Minn Kota, excuse me, um, directional antenna so that my boat always stays pointed towards Whichever way my boat's pointing is the way that my map stays oriented to. How about that? So that's a really handy piece to have as well. I think that's probably all I can show you guys off the water, but I love, love, love my hummingbirds. I know there's some other stuff out there these days, uh, but I also will tell you uh, there are a lot of guys out there running Lawrence and Garmin products that have a hummingbird on a block of wood that's in the floor of their boat when they're practicing so that they have the mapping ability that we have on our hummingbirds because nothing else matches it in my opinion so hopefully that's helpful stick around just for a second from a let's say a message from our sponsors thanks guys hey guys uh, a couple of things to add to this uh, Bodie reminded me um, number one uh, I don't say thank you enough to all my sponsors um, this has become very time-consuming and I put quite a bit of Boy, you have gotten bad here. Uh, I put quite a bit of time and effort into what I do, uh, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I get great feedback. Gosh, I bet I met 50 guys who said how much they enjoyed my videos this weekend, and that really means a lot. But um, it, it's gotten expensive. I bought a lot of cameras. I've spent a lot of time and effort. And so thank you to my sponsors, and they're all behind me. Obviously, lose rods and reels. Um, I sought them out a long time ago before I started a YouTube channel because that was the rods and reels I wanted to use, stuff that matched up well together and really high quality stuff. So thank you to them. Texas Boat World, Cliff and the team there in Harker Heights. Gotta make sure Bodie didn't wander off. Uh, sorry. Uh, Cliff and the team down there for helping me uh, get into this beautiful Ranger Z521C with the four stroke Mercury you guys know that I fish out of all the time. 
uh, Outlaw Outdoors. I've just teamed with them because I like Clinton Stacy so much, and I think they run a really high quality uh, team circuit. And so that's as much as just a friendship as anything else. Uh, why I talk about Outlaw Outdoors, and I love what they've done and how they're thinking about tournament fishing. Um, and then, of course, uh, he also has, which I've talked about the past, the past at Tournament Savers Pro, which is a, a very simple to install jump system you put into your boat. If you've never seen that, I'm going to put a link right here to that video. It's a neat piece that he put together uh, that's like a hundred bucks so that you'll never be caught on the water with a dead battery again. And that happened actually quite a bit this weekend. Uh, I saw guys with, uh, with dead batteries out there. Uh, then over there, of course, Gary Yamamoto, uh, Heidi and the team out in, uh, uh, in Page. Uh, that is just a long relationship. I wrote for their magazine years ago. And uh, I don't ask them for much, but I completely believe in their baits. And so uh, that's why they're up there and have been a longtime sponsor for me as well. Uh, Mercury, you guys know I love my Mercury uh, Pro XS. So thank you for all those sponsors. And I've got a new one coming aboard, um, actually Six Cents. I've known the owner of Six Cents, Casey, for a long time. He has greatly rounded out, greatly rounded out what he offered to me for a long time. He was a deep crankbait guy. And then he was a, a, a rattlebait guy, and then he came up with some really great looking square bills. Um, the, the cat's gonna get out of the bag next year uh, when, it, when, the, when the trap bite, and trap being a generic term there, comes back around. Uh, I'm finally gonna admit just how much I throw a thud. So if you don't know the difference, the quake bait is a multi rattle bait. I'll tell you what, let's save that. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a, a video on some of his stuff and why I think it's different uh, coming up very shortly. Uh, the folks at Tackle Freaks, you know, I've recently connected with those guys. And uh, they, they did our, our Big Bass Bash box with us. We'll do more of those in the future. If they keep offering you guys discounts like that, then uh, I want to continue uh, offering you guys the opportunity to buy boxes of baits that are going to work on Raven or Toledo or your home lake. Uh, you know, according to the season, what's going on, we'll continue putting those boxes together and getting good offers out to you guys. By the way, uh, so part of the deal, and, and this is something, not that I can push people around by any means, but one of the things in striking this deal with six cents that I really wanted was a discount code for the guys who watch my videos. And they have been kind enough, it is going to be simply KEN10, K-E-N-1-0, and you will get 10% off of anything you buy from Six Cents Lures at their website. So please take advantage of that. Um, I know most of us here in Texas, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Louisiana, and actually he's gotten around the world now. He's in academies and he's in a lot of other stores. Uh, but a lot of us know and use that stuff, and that's the ability for you guys to buy that at a 10% discount. And he and I are going to do some other special stuff coming forward in the future. You guys know the hook I like to use on my A-Rig. And by the way, I threw an A-Rig a lot this weekend, and all I caught was a little fish. Matter of fact, check this one out. If I've got that picture, I'm going to stick it in right there. If not, I caught one about that long on a bait about that long. Um, but Bite Me Tackle, uh, he will continue to offer our discount code on the hooks there. You guys know I buy them in the 50-pack, mostly the 332nd. I'm now pretty much just using his Hunter jig head. He sends it to me with the weed guard. And on some of them I leave it on, and some of them you can just pop it off with a pair of pliers. I think that's a great one. Uh, the, uh, the discount code there, and it's Bite Me Tackle, is Ken Fishing 10. So I'm going to tack this little addendum on the back of this week's Rayburn slash Big Bass Splash Report, and also on the back of the Hummingbird Reports. So if you think you're seeing double, it's not. I wanted to put both those on there as I get these two videos out over the next week. Uh, just to say, number one, thank you to you guys for subscribing. I'm going to continue to try to get these discount codes for you guys and for myself, by the way. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take advantage of those too. And uh, as, as we grow the Kinsmith Fishing family, um, there's got to be something in it for you guys uh, as well as for me. So I will endeavor to continue to make that happen. And once again, thanks for subscribing and uh, thanks for sharing. And uh, we'll see you guys on Rayburn or Toledo uh, as the summer progresses. Thanks, guys.